Hi, my name is Elizabeth Caradona, and this morning I am delighted to introduce the one and only Sydney Parrish. What I admire most about Sydney is her unwavering ability to be herself. Whether she is standing up for what she believes in, writing inspirational articles for Girl Punch, leading I Am That Girl meetings, or simply cackling her way through the halls, Sydney puts her whole heart into everything she does. She never fails to brighten my day and bring a smile to my face with her kind-hearted, hilarious, and bold spirit. I cannot wait to see what wisdom she has to share with us today, so everyone please give it up for the loudest burper I know, the meme queen of 2017, the beautiful Sydney Anuhea Parrish. Ever since I was a child, the first remark I would hear pertained to how scrawny I was. I've been called a stick, a toothpick, a noodle, you name it, I've heard it. While these all resemble something that is delicate and weak, let me tell you, this noodle is stronger than you think. <laughs> all my life, I've carried weights. Some of them are tangible, such as the backpack I carry to and from my car that weighs nearly as much as I do, and the bags of groceries that hang all the way up my arms in order to avoid making a second trip to the car. However, I also carry weights that you cannot see, but I can definitely feel. I bear the weight of love, of fear, of appreciation, and of expectations. But the weight I find myself struggling to carry around is the weight of being a woman. When given the question, what's the greatest lesson a woman should learn, poet Rupi Kaur responds that since day one, she's already had everything she needs within herself. It's the world that convinced her she did not. Growing up, my parents constantly reminded me that I could become and do whatever my heart desired, and that nothing except myself could hold me back. The amount of gratitude I owe my mom and dad is beyond measure because without their encouraging words, the weight of societal standards for women would pin me to the ground. Over the course of six years, society has stacked on a seemingly endless amount of expectations and restrictions upon my bony back in an attempt to crush me. I am told that I can't excel at science or math because girls just aren't supposed to be good at it. I have to work three times harder to earn the respect and leadership positions than my male counter counterparts can receive in a blink of an eye. I am expected to live up to the unrealistic beauty standards imposed upon me. If I fail to carry these demanding weights, I am told that I'm simply just not enough. I stand before 500 girls who may or may not feel the backbreaking weights of societal standards. But I am here to tell you that one thing is certain. You are enough. When we can find someone to a specific label, we limit her potential. But I know for a fact that this room is filled, filled with endless potential. Standing up here, I am able to see girls who aren't afraid to speak their mind, who defy the stereotypes that society has given them, who march to the beat of their own drum. And because of you, I have discovered my own potential. Shel Silverstein wrote a poem titled Dancing in the Rain, and he says, so what if it drizzles and dribbles and drips? I'll splash in the garden, I'll dance on the roof, let it rain on my skin, it can't get in. I'm waterproof. To my parents, my friends, and the class of 2017, I dedicate this poem to you. Because of you, I am unfazed by whatever society has to hurl at me. You are the ones who train me to lift my own weights, rather than being the ones to hold them for me, just so I can feel a momentary release. Though my bony arms may scream otherwise, you make me strong. Strong enough, strong enough to lift my heaviest weight up to my heart and wear it as a badge. Thank you.